up guys? Here's my review of the Ram ProMaster 2500. So before we go on the back, I want to go over the pros and cons of the Ram ProMaster. I had a Nissan Envy before this, a 2016 Nissan Envy 2500. And it got hit while I was working. I wasn't in it. It got totaled and I ended up with this van. And I'm glad it happened because the Nissan was sluggish. They had a big nose in the front. It was very difficult uh, getting close to things. It took like a three point turn just to get into pocket spots. It, it was it was difficult to use. I didn't like it. It wasn't comfortable and it wasn't a high top. Uh, this is a high top and we'll go on back and I'll show you back there. But I want to go over the pros and cons of the van. It's mostly pros, the drivability, uh, ergonomics, storage, power, and the overall aspects of this van. So the ProMaster 2500 has a powerful V6, 280 horsepower, 260 foot-pounds of torque. Curb weight is a little over 4,600 pounds empty. Maximum payload inside here is around 4,200 pounds. I've had 40 sheets of half inch blue board back here with plaster no problem i've had this thing loaded up with lumber no problem no problem at all they drive nice uh, if you're going 80 on the highway it's a little sketchy it's a high top so the wind kind of catches it if you're behind a tractor trailer that's when you really feel it all the wind pushing you around uh driving around the street is great it's good it takes off um in the rain you know, you will spin the tires. It has a lot of torque, but it's a pleasure to drive. It goes where it's supposed to go. I have no problems with that. The snow is a con. It's bad, the snow. I actually got stuck in my own driveway in four inches of snow. It's it's horrible. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta get going before you start driving in snow. Uh, be careful of hills. They're front wheel drive, so they're not good in the snow. Absolutely not. Uh, if it's packed snow and the streets are, are plowed, you're fine. If it's fresh snow and it is you know six to eight inches on the ground, stay home. I got through the winter fine. I just really wish it was all-wheel drive, but it's not. But it drives fine in the rain. The steering is unbelievable. You can go into a pocket spot. This thing will turn around probably in a 25-foot radius, maybe. I don't know. It feels like it does. It's it turns on a dime. It's great. You pull into a pocket spot with one turn. I love the turn radius in these things. They're awesome. And if you're driving in the rain, you turn too hot, the wheels do spin. It does have trash control, but I usually leave it on most of the time. I put a height on here because I have racks that are pretty high, just in case you go through a drive through at Wendy's, you're not gonna be able to. I would definitely put this here because you're gonna be hitting a lot of things that you're usually not used to if you've never had a high top before. Like I said, it drives great is the dash it is awkward because the shifter is right here that's something to get used to if you're used to a column shifter but it's funny because you have like four wands around you, you got this the, the directionals you got your cruise control and you have your windshield wiper and fluid and you have your fob so it can get kind of confused and sometimes I hit this when I'm going to use a directional but I'm used to it now because I, I go on my other ram, which is over there. And you come in here, and everything's kind of backwards. The windshield wipe is over here on the Ram 1500. This one's over here. You get used to it. Uh, trash control. This unlocks the doors in the back. That takes some getting used to too because there's a door lock for these, and there's the door lock for the back only. And your key fob. This is the front doors and this is the back doors. I don't know why they did that, but I'm used to it now and it's it gets it's it's funky. Radio you connect. That's pretty decent. It sounds pretty good. The radio quality is pretty good. I'm gonna keep my napkins, the storage there, storage there, cup holder. That's where I keep my trash barrel. Cup holder down here. And the seats, the seats are very comfortable. Not as comfortable as a Ram 1500, but they are comfortable. This adjustable arm, there's a wheel right here. You can turn it and it brings it up or down. The only thing about these vans, if you're used to a traditional van, you're sitting a little lower 
and the dash is a little higher. On these vans, you're sitting up high and the dash is lower. Now the seat's adjustable, we can go up, down, um, back and forth, it reclines. There's a roller over here, you can recline for lumbar as well. Um, the steering wheel only is telescopic, doesn't go up and down. It's That's fine, but I'm gonna try to show you the view I'm talking about when you're driving this thing, uh, what you actually see, because your head's, my head, I'm six foot three, so my head's at the top of the windshield. And I'm used to it now, I'm fine with it now, but I, when I first got it, I was feeling like I was driving an RV. You know, I'm like, this is a little weird, but it's worth it. So that's what you see, your head's right around there, and it's mostly windshield. So you're looking straight out. Usually you sit like that in a, tr in a traditional van. You're up here in the ProMaster. Gas mileage, if you put it on instant economy, when you're accelerating, it's at like five or six miles per gallon. But when you're on the highway and cruising, you're up around 18 miles per gallon on the highway. Driving in the street, I'm usually, it depends on how aggressive you drive. I'm usually a moderate to aggressive driver. Um, I do most of my aggressive driving in my Ram 1500, so when I'm working, I kind of take it easy. Usually around 14 to 16 miles per gallon on the street. All right, let's go in the back. Now, I got stuff in here, obviously. I'm, I, I use it and I work out of it. But there's plenty of space in here. I'm six foot three, and I got about an inch of clearance at the top of my dome. So, plenty of room. I like it. I'm so used to the traditional vans where the ceiling's low and you gotta bend over. I'm 45 years old. I, don't be, I ain't bending over no more. This is awesome. There's storage up here. Keep a bunch of stuff above the seats. Uh, shelving. I made my own shelving. I had the cheap metal ones you get from different companies and they fall apart, screws fall out. So I made my own shelving out of uh, three quarter inch plywood and I used uh, just strapping as nosing basically. Painted it black, you can hang on this. It's built to the way I want it. All the spacing, all the spacing is done to where I want it. So it's like, it, that's custom. You do it the way you want it and everything fits in there fine. You don't have a metal shelf that everyone else is using and you got, and they're flimsy. Over here's the cords. The hoses, framing guns. Got one of these little broom holders. There's a few of them there. I usually keep three ladders here. I have a five foot, a four foot, and a two foot to go there. Chop saw and table saw goes there, vacuum. I keep my chop saw stand behind the seat, plenty of room. That's how I made the shelving. Left a little room for that to go there because that can get in the way. Sliding door is easy to use. It flows nice, it's just a little blink. Overall cargo length, you have about 121 inches, 10 foot one. I also made my shelves just deep enough from the wheel well, so it's about four foot one. So I can slide in half inch sheets or any substrates that I buy. Anything that's four foot wide by eight feet by ten feet and they stack right up. Plenty of room. I made this over here too, just levels, mixes. Racks I got were from Adrian Steel. This is a roller. If you're putting ladders up or long lumber, LBLs, you use that roller. It's strong. It gives you a hand putting it up for you. Makes it easy to put lumber and stuff up there. The only problem is, though, in order to get up that high, you're going to need a ladder. So I bought this four foot ladder specifically to go up there and bungee ladders and tie down lumber if I needed to. Decking, 20 foot decking. That ladder is what I use to get up there because you're not going to be able to reach it. Now, I have a few other friends that have the Ram ProMaster. When I was working on these shelves, I needed light. And I'm like, I don't see how, why is there no light back here? Like these, these lights here and here, but they weren't bright enough. And I'm like, there's got to be light in here. So I see these strips up here 
as I'm building, this is the second day I had it. I'm building the shelving. I see these strips up here. And I'm like, what the heck are these? Worked on the shelves a little more. 10 minutes later, I'm like, these gotta be lights. So I look over and there's a wire. And I'm like, these gotta be lights. I found a switch down here. I don't know why it's so low. I gotta move it up. It's way down here. And I hit that button. And I was a very happy guy. None of my friends have these. I got a few friends who have Ram Pro Masters. They don't have these LED lights. If you're going to buy a Ram Pro Master, get these. These are awesome. You're working at night, doing a night job. This thing glows up the back of here. Awesome. Highly recommend getting those lights. But overall, I just love the headroom back here. You don't gotta bend over. Everything's organized, there's plenty of room. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. If I want to move trash, which I do rarely, I usually use a dumpster, but sometimes I'll fill this up with trash. I'll clean all my tools out, all the ones that are in the way, and you can load this thing up pretty, you can load it up a lot. The only thing you gotta look out for, cause I'm tall, I'm, you know, like I said, I'm six foot three, are these uh, door stoppers. I have clipped my head off this, maybe, maybe a few times. Not bleeders, but enough to go, get a little upset and say a few words, but be careful of these. That's my only downfall of being back here. Other than that, it's awesome. No complaints. This this fan, this fan's the best, by far. The best fan I've ever had. So again, with the height of the van, it all depends what you have in here. It might go up and down a couple inches. I have the racks on there, and I totaled nine foot six at the back rack. So I added two inches just to be safe. So I'm at nine foot eight, and I have that marker there nine foot eight there and over there so when i'm pulling in somewhere i don't hit anything you can't get into pocket garages with it even as a high top but uh it's just good to have for safety purposes so that's it that's my 2018 ram pro master 2500 review if you guys have any questions throw them down below subscribe overall i think the ram pro master is an awesome van i highly recommend it and by far i've had Ford vans, I had the Nissan. Uh, this is by far the best van I've ever had. Till next time, guys, stay cool.